Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Pauline and today we're going to be talking about skincare because I've been getting a lot of questions on my skincare routine since I've moved to South Korea So I put it in this format and hopefully it helps you and yeah, let's get started So I actually made a key for my kind of like weekly overlay that I'm going to show you guys So let's just kind of go over that now um you can take a screenshot of it or, you know, um, whatever you please or just go along with me. And if you have the products, then woo. If don't, that's okay. But this is just what um, I'm going to be using on my map. So of like my weekly um, routine. So let's just get into it. Uh, the first one is... Um, pH which stands for the low pH good morning gel cleanser by Cosrx. I actually was recommended um, this product by my friend Liz from UTA love you pieces um, But yeah, she actually recommended this to me like over a year ago and I'm still using it to this day So I even had it before I came to Korea and I absolutely love it It's just so good for my skin in regards to it being light I'm not a person that could just throw water in my face a lot of people do do that but I I can't like in the morning um, because it actually is good for you not to use overly use products But I feel like this one's sensitive enough that I can use it and I have no issues um, The next one's se and it stands for the advanced snail 96 mucin power essence by Cosrx as well This snail essence is why my skin glows the way it does like to be honest I'm wearing no makeup right now and I felt like doing this whole routine showing you guys that this is how my skin looks and honestly I could say if I could only use one product I would use this one it's just so good for the skin so lightweight and it sets like a satin mat so yeah the next one is d which stands for the deeply nourishing body wash by dove um i know this is so weird to like put like a body wash on here but genuinely i love this product i've always used the dove like body washes i used to use the cucumber a lot when i was going through puberty the cucumber one was so good but nowadays i just use this like kind of like that moisturizing kind of like the base level the original and it's really good for when i'm using it daily type of thing like you know after you're out and your skin's feeling kind of icky um but you guys will get what i mean whenever i get into the weekly uses so yeah the next one is going to be b and it stands for the snail b high content lotion by benton i just recently started using this as a daily moisturizer and i'm loving it it's super lightweight anything snail based though i feel like i'm kind of like more into but definitely this product has been doing a lot of good for my skin so yeah and then h is going to stand for the high aluric acid cream intensive cream i'm pretty sure i spelled cream twice but you guys know what i mean lol as i'm reading this i'm like hmm that is correct though because i saw it on the bottle um and it's also by Cosrx. and yeah this one is something that i use because it's winter time so i love the product of course i'll talk about it more when we're going into my daily details um but yeah it's really good for the winter time which i definitely need it's drying here in korea um, e is going to be for exfoliation, that's why I put E, but it's going to be the Pilo Soft Bubby Eraser Pads by Metaheal. I'm really loving these. Um, they're kind of like these padded cloth um, material and it's really good for my skin, like exfoliating. I thought chemical peels would um, obviously be better, it's like easier on your skin, but I like that this is kind of like what I already do. I use my towel to kind of exfoliate my skin, so yeah. The next one is going to be MC, which is going to stand for the Moistful Collagen line, but specific products in that line is going to be the Moistful Collagen Toner and the Emulsion by Etude House. Um, I just recently bought these as well, but I'm really loving them. They're in my night care routine, so we'll get into that in a bit. Um, FM is going to be for face masks, and I only really use Etude House's face mask, but there's plenty. Innisfree has great ones, Cosrx has great ones. Face mask just kind of depends on you. So CM is going to stand for clay mask, and it's going to be the Jeju Volcanic Color Clay Mask in Purifying from Innisfree. I'm really loving this product. If you guys, I feel like if you Google like any clay mask that's really popular, the Amazonian clay mask is perfect. But I don't have it here in Korea and I wanted to try something new and this one's working great for me. It's already formulated and everything, so yeah. 
Then we have BH, which is going to stand for the BHA Blackhead Power Liquid by Cosrx. So, um, when it comes to blackheads, like, I'm not a person that, like, goes into deep detail of it because blackheads are honestly like really natural for your skin for the oils and stuff like it makes sense why we have them so although i use this product like once a week um you'll see in my weekly routine like i said but it's like something that i'm trying to like amp up a little bit so yeah not too much on my blackheads but i do have them and i don't have like completely smooth skin or anything um but yeah i really do enjoy the product nevertheless the last one i'm going to be talking about on the key is going to be bp and it's the baking powder bb deep cleansing foam by Etude house oh my god that's a mouthful but yes i use this cleansing um foam as well it's a really nice like clean clean texture but if you're a person with hyper sensitive skin i don't think it's gonna work too well for you because it it, it finishes like very it's very squeaky clean and i know some people don't like that but because i use so many types of creams and stuff like that i like that fresh feeling every now and then so yeah those are all the products that i'm going to be talking about so screenshot that i'm going to show one more time and yeah let's just get into my actual weekly routine okay guys so i'm gonna show you guys the actual week and i drew it on this really cute like thing so yeah i'm gonna show you now so yeah i did this kind of i guess calendar type of setup for this and um, i split it up into morning after school and evening so let's start off with sunday so i'm usually home on sundays and if i'm not home I'm out, but this is just letting you guys know like where I'm at usually on what days. Um, so yeah, on Sunday, I always use my pH like cleanser in the morning, and then I always go into the snail essence. And that is it for the morning time. Um, I like to keep it really simple on the weekends, and you'll see that when I get to Saturday as well. Um, there's no school, so I don't need to wash my face after school. And then for evening, I'm doing the, um, the Dove soap, and honestly, it's because after school or just midday, I just don't like how my skin is like oiling. And I like to use that because it's super gentle and it's meant to nourish my skin in a sense. You will get it if you try the product itself. Okay, so for evening, I do a face mask. I up, And after the face mask, I do it for about 20 minutes. Then I go into the blackhead liquid and then i go into my line so after the blackhead liquid i actually wipe it off after about 10 minutes like just kind of like dabble it a little bit and then i go into my moist full collagen line toner and emulsion and that's it i apply it all over the face um i do have a sample of the moist full collagen cream and i've been using it for my under eyes i might purchase the actual big bottle of it but the moist full collagen line in general from etude house is really good so yeah, that's for Sunday. Okay, so for Monday, I'm at school and I go into my morning cleanser as usual, but on Mondays, I actually apply the Hyaluric Acid Cream. I really like this product for Mondays because my skin hasn't, if I've been home, I haven't been outside, so it definitely like kind of barriers my skin a little bit, which helps a lot. Then after school, I actually go into the baking powder foam by Etude House. It's really good because like as my skin is adjusting and the hyaluric acid is like a thick cream, it takes it off really well. And then for the evening, I always use Dove Soap um, like during my shower, so I use that. And then on Monday, I actually go into the Snail Essence and then I apply my Moist Full Collagen Line. So both of the Snail Essence and Moist Full Collagen Line is what I use for nighttime for all week long almost and now on to tuesday i'm also at school same cleanser but on tuesdays i actually use my benton um snail product and the snail lotion for school and then i go into the dove soap for after school and evening i don't double cleanse um on tuesdays um or thursdays you'll see like the pattern between monday and wednesday and tuesdays and thursdays that after school evening is all the same because like i don't it just depends on my skin but i just wanted to put it there just in case um and then same routine snail essence and then the moist full collagen line i apply the toner and then i apply um the emulsion wednesday cleanser hyaluric acid 
same thing. So Wednesday and Thursday is a repetition of Monday and Tuesday. So I'm not going to repeat everything because you guys can definitely see it there. And then so Friday, the weekends is like my recovery mode for my skin from all week being outside in the pollution, just outside in general. So on Friday, I really get into it, um, especially if I'm not going out for the weekend. If I do go out for the weekend, I do whatever I do on Friday on Sunday night instead. So it just it depends on what I'm doing. But if I'm home on Friday, I'll do the cleanser in the morning, the hyaluric acid intensive cream for school. Uh, for school and then I'll go into the baking powder after school and then in the evening time on Friday so whatever day it is that is the, like the last thing that I'm doing for that week um, I go into exfoliation I only exfoliate one time a week exfoliation depends on your skin sometimes some people need more turnover so you can exfoliate it some more but for me specifically I do it one time a week and it's perfect um, after the exfoliation I go straight into the clay mask and to be honest, the, this duo is very like brightening for my skin, but it's rough on it as well because the next day on Saturday, Saturday I actually wake up, although brightened, I'm pretty red, um, but my skin is turning over, that's why. Um, so yeah, Friday night I do the face mask after the clay mask because the clay mask I apply for about 20 minutes. And yeah, it sucks everything out of your skin. So you definitely need to like hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So I do a face mask, then I do the snail essence, and then I do the moist full collagen line again. So yeah, on top of like stripping my skin because of like the mask itself, like the clay mask, I definitely have to rehydrate. So yeah. And then on Saturday, I'm home. I'm doing the cleanser and just the snail essence. So you see on Saturday, Sundays, I only do snail essence um, for application, especially during the morning time. It's very light. It lets my skin breathe in a sense. And when it's applied, um, you can layer it with other stuff, but I like it on weekends, just that. So right now I'm just wearing the essence. Um, and then if in the evening my skin's feeling kind of weird, it usually doesn't, but just in case, sometimes it does, I do it wash my face with dove soap again um when i'm showering and then i apply the snail essence once more and then the moist full collagen line and then i go into sunday so yeah that is my complete routine i know it's like super long in a sense but it's honestly what i do every day um it is worth it every time i feel like my skin is like super hydrated um but the thing is, there's a lot of reasons why I feel like my skin is the way it is, and so I want to talk about some of those reasons, because sometimes it's not just the products, it's honestly like other things that you do. So um, yeah, let's get into some of my other advice for skincare. So on top of like my daily routine and stuff like that, and my weekly kind of overview of what I do for my skin, I feel like it has a lot to do with like hydration and what I drink every day. So if you don't know, I consume a gallon of water every single day. Um, and when I don't, I'm literally dehydrated. So I always drink about a gallon of water. So in Korea, we have this like two liter bottle of water. I drink two of these a day. This is my first one and it's morning time right now while I'm filming. So yeah, hydration is key. And before I even eat, I have two, two to four glasses of green tea. So right now I'm on my third cup of green tea. Um, most days, if I'm being lazy, I'll do just two of these big cups. But when you measure it, it's actually two cups of waters in here. But I consider this big mug like um, one cup. But anyways, yeah, two to four glasses of green tea. It's really good for detoxing. I mean, tea in general is really great for you. So I really do think it's because of this, like the water combination. But also, I'm intermittent fasting pretty intensively. I do at least, at least 18 hours a day. So I don't know, like, exactly the science behind it. But I really do think it is because of IF. Like, um, it helps like replenish all your cells in your body as well as like your skin so um yeah i definitely think like if has had a lot to do with it um if you guys want a video on how i do intermittent fasting like here in korea then please let me know down below because um yeah i do a minimum of 18 hours a day and then a maximum of 23 it just kind of depends um and i've actually gone 24 hours like once a week um so it just kind of honestly depends but yeah i really think that when it comes to your skin definitely listen to your body like sometimes it's more than just like simple products like sometimes you really do need to go to a dermatologist and figure out what's wrong with your skin um a lot of it's hormonal there's like areas of your face when i was younger 
I had mainly hormonal acne. Um, I never had terrible, terrible acne, like to be honest, to be frank about it. But I think it had to, a lot to do with my diet, like in my life and then hydration as well. But when I did have it, it was like across the hairline and then like forehead and then chin. So um, yeah, those are very hormonal type of like acne breakouts and things. But now that I've been an adult, um, for a while um i think that it definitely has calmed down a lot i still do have my rosacea so if you guys do see and i do have like some discoloration like this speck is actually my rosacea flaring a little bit and i do have some darkened spots but i'm kind of trying to work out like brightening products because i'm not a person that wants my face to be super white so yeah like if i do find some brightening products i would definitely let you guys know but for now i feel like all the stuff that i've been using has helped a lot and i hope that all these suggestions are good for you guys i've picked products honestly that that I use every single day and they're really honestly like cost efficient like none of these products are over like maybe $20 like USD I think the most expensive product I'm using I'm looking at them right now I think would be the hyaluric acid cream by Cosrx is no more than 20 everything else is under $20 so I really hope this helps you out and check me out next time for another video bye